Oh. It's all simming. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Primary LZ for Mark. Extract is ah! standing by. <laughs> I'm here! Ah. One second. Alright. I know. Yes, I know, I said it. Okay. And... Hello everybody and welcome to my first video of this year. I know I never make videos. Maybe I'm too lazy. I don't know. Let's see this year. So to kick this off, I wanted to show you how you can create this studio light setup with about 60 quid yes you heard me 60 quid so before we carry on i just want you to know that this light setup doesn't include the camera setup that i have but even though if you are shooting with your phone it will look amazing right so these are the lights I'm gonna be using. The knee were something like that. They come in a set of two, but I'm gonna be using just one. I have enough with that. This is the light bulb. This is the soft box. These are actually the lights that I started with. And this is the current light I use, which is the uh, Godox SL60W with the aperture dumb i just love this one <laughs> so now all you have to do is come and set it up on your tripod don't forget to use your diffuser and get it as close as possible to the subject this way is gonna look better and we are almost done right but still doesn't look right to me so now the light intensity can't be adjusted. One thing you could do is you can adjust your camera settings like closing the aperture, but you will be losing the depth of field. So instead of that, I'm gonna be using this ND filter. Right, looking good, yeah? So remember that you can always use natural light like this window that I have right here, but because of organizational purposes and I have to have my desk here and so I rather use in this one and also because the lie changes sometimes so uh, I hate that so still I rather use in a light that I can control now all you need to do is to get the room as dark as possible so you get surrounded by shadows I have here my duct tape she never fails and then I use it to block the light when I because I have some light leaking here so I just stick it to the wall so it's get really dark <laughs> so that's pretty much it all you need to do to have a cinematic look all you need to do now is color correct and color grade your footage to look cinematic one thing I forgot to say is this room has really really bright walls so what I'm doing now I have this black panel here I don't know if you can see it but I have a black panel here to create more shadows on this side of my face I love that and sorry I just just one thing that I realized just now I have the new a7s3 and I can see myself on the screen with I am not used to I am looking to the screen sometimes and to the lens sorry about that so that's it for me today guys I hope you like the short video smash the like button if you like it subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time <laughs>